Hello, I am V. Welcome to my channel, V Love and Crystals, where I post fun videos daily, daily readings. I do deck reviews, deck modifications, live streams, and I also collaborate with lovely tarot readers I love to watch. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please subscribe, please stick around. So I'm doing a collaboration with a lovely Moon Moth goddess who is my friend and patron, and I've been getting to know her for the past, I don't know, a few months now. So I'm really excited. I found the channel a few months ago and we just hit it off. If uh, you're not aware of her channel, please do check her out. I'll have her link down below. Today's pick a card reading is on spiritual gifts. What are your spiritual gifts? What are your abilities? What can you do? What are you good at? You know, and I would say what, what can you do to help others with your abilities, your skills, so um, your talent. So we're going to get into this. So uh, yes, like I said, please check out Moon Moth Goddess's video. So if you choose Pa 1, um, well, I'm going to shuffle all these cards. We're using the messages from Spirit. We're using the messages from Angels. And I also have Life Purpose in here mixed in. And then we have a Angels and Ancestors card here. And I know that Moon Moth Goddess loves this deck, so I thought I would put this in there. I'm going to shuffle three piles using all of these decks. And then you would click on a timestamp to hear my message. And then when you're done with your pile, let's say you chose pile number two, then you would, uh, when you were done with your pile number two here, you would go over to Moon Moth Goddess's channel and check out to see what messages she got from her pile two. And same goes for piles one and two. I have three piles for you. Like I said, the timestamps are below. Part one of my message is, for, is in this video and part two of your message is on Moon Moth's channel. So check her out. Let her know that I sent you. So, okay, pile number one. Let me uh, try to really uh, think about this. I hope to grab all the energies I can to help you find your messages, help you find your purpose. So if you want to choose now, go for it. And I do have crystals. If you want to choose with crystals, go for it. You can make more than one choice, obviously. Uh, we have the Smoky Quartz for pile number one. We have the Rose Wars Quartz for pile number two. And pile number three, we have the Blue Quartz. Clarity, love. And this transmutes negative energy into positive energy. So, all right, let's think about this. All right, really think about it. Meditate. What number calls to you? What pile? What stone? Whatever it is. What, yeah, what card? What, whatever. Think about it. Go with your own intuition. Okay. So this is pile two. Oh. This is pile two over here. Pile three over here. Okay. Pile number one, you chose the smoky quartz. Let's see. So number one, we have lessons. Okay. Okay. Lessons. I don't know why you need to hear that, but we're going to figure it out. Decide, decisions, lessons, decisions, and choosing your path. Wow. So these, these look like they're a little bit, um, they're like they're part of a story here, right? So I, I would say that they, they kind of go together. So I just, I'm here to fill in the blanks. So power number one, if I take a good look at this stuff, Okay, your spiritual gift, your spiritual powers, your spiritual talents, your purpose is to e either help people find the light after being in a dark tunnel, um, help people ascend so that they can be the best that they can be, like, a, like an angel, like you guiding people towards the light. Like, you know, they're in a dark time, they're depressed, or they're just having, they're like, they're in a rut, and your ability is to see them shine through, see them, see the light, seek them, find them, and then bring them to where they need to be, the higher 
they have a higher purpose and your abilities to help them. Look, you have, look, you, you, look, direction, guardian. See? I didn't even read that because I'm kind of sideways. So to me, everything's sideways, so I have to really look at everything. So look at that. You're like, you're like the GPS for people. They're like, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what I'm here for. What, what's the, my purpose? What, what am I? What am I here? What am, what's, what am I here for? What's the reason? I don't know. I guess I'll just wake up, watch Netflix, go to sleep. And you're like, no, there's something better for you. You're the, the GPS, like I said. You're the angel GPS. So look, you either acknowledge, you help people figure out the, the, root, of the, the root of the problem, what ha you know, they, they, they figure out what their problem is, why it happened, and how, how can you assess it and, how, and you figure out how, like what the lessons were, like, you know, what you, so in, in other words, you help people figure out what, what, the, what the problem was and what the experiences were, like what the experience was, the lesson was for that. And then you help them figure that out because you need closure. You need to be able to assess what, you know, what your issue is or what, where you went wrong. And then from that, you can work. That's your core. You know where to go from that. You know what direction to take. And then you help people make better decisions for themselves and you help guide them to where they need to go. You know, like if they need to get out of a, a bad situation, you help them maneuver the way out, like the GPS, you know? It's like rerouting, recalculating, recalculating. You're like, oh my gosh, you're driving me crazy. I, I, I turned right, you told me to turn right. Um, so I would say that you're like the, the yeah, the, the guardians, someone who helps people on their journey. And you have to fi help first figure out what the, the problem is here, you know? You learned your lessons, and now what do we go? For? Where do we go from here? Time to decide. You have to make the choices. I don't know. You can be a light worker, or a guidance counselor, or a motivational speaker. Someone on YouTube who helps people. Maybe you give counseling to people, or you just you upload videos or something, or you you know your friends come to you for help in person, and they're like, "Man, you're a good soundboard. I can tell you anything." And you're like, "Hmm." And all you do is listen to them, and then you help them make decisions, and then you help guide them on their on their the right, you know, you put them on the right track, you know, you kind of realign them. So that's what I have for you, pile number, pile number one. You're like the angel, like the, 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 the flame and people, the dark people are attracted to your flame, like the mouth to a flame, because that's how, like, that's just, that's how you are. Like, you're just this aura and you probably do a lot of work, inner work for yourself. So that's why people are able to gravitate and, you know, uh, seek you out because your your aura is illuminating and people are like drawn to that like I'm off to a flame like I said So that's what I have for you. I, I Think this is beautiful here Making help people helping people make helping people make better decisions for themselves. That's a beautiful quality and gift to have It's hard to figure out what decisions or what what to do when you're stuck in a dark hole or in a, or in a rut so pile number two, so hopefully you got a good, clear, concise message. Please let me know what, what Moon Moth Goddess's message said for you, if that resonated. Yeah, check out her channel. It's going to be linked below. And then now we have pile number two. Hello, pile number two. You have the rose crystal quartz. And this is all about love. Let's see if love comes through. Let's see. So the first pile, and you look, look at this. Pile number one, we have the the... Yeah, the, the crystal that helps you kind of balance the energies, right? Turning negative into positive. So that's amazing for pile number one. Pile number two, love. Let's see if this has to do with love. Okay, so pile number one, we have, or I'm sorry, pile number two, number do, numero dos, we have generosity. We have children and we have summer. Summer, summer. Summer in the city, hot in the city. All right, so your life purpose, power number two, this can be, whew, okay, this, if I look at this closely, this can be that either you have, you have the ability to help younger people or like, you know, mentor younger people or you, your ability is to help people conceive. How, you know, in the summertime, the spring, 
that's when things start blooming, blossoming, but in the summer, everything's in full bloom. So either you help people, you know, uh, bring their ideas to life and nourish and be, you know, like you help them fulfill their dreams. You don't just plant seeds, but you help them see them through. Same thing with, with, uh, with children. You know, you don't just help them get pregnant. You help them achieve a full-term pregnancy, you know, like you help them, you guide, guide them. So generosity, exactly, help. So either you're helping people uh, achieve abundance, you know, whether in, in money or friendships, finances, health, or children, stuff like that, whatever there is that they're working on, you help them see it through. You don't just say, here you go, here's your tool, do something with it. You know, you, you, you're the opposite. Well, no, you're not the opposite, but you, you, you do it, you're thorough about it. You're saying, here's your tool. Now, let's help you uh, plant the seeds. Now, let's make sure that those seeds grow and nourish so that at the very end of the year or the, at the very end of your, of your cycle or the very end of your pregnancy, you can have a full blessing here. So you see it through. So your skills is that you, you don't give half a effort. You see things through. You know, so if someone's on the spiritual quest, you guide them and you're there to the very end. It's kind of like a midwife. <laughs> She tells you that you're pregnant, and then she helps you along the way. She sees you every few months, makes sure that you, make sure that you're progressing and you're staying healthy, and your baby's staying healthy, and trying, you know, figuring out uh, all the the logistics, you know, when your baby is due and what's going on, and blah blah blah, you know. So you see it through. So you're like a guide, someone who just sticks around for the long haul. And if someone's on their spiritual quest, you you're like assisting them along their journey. And with children, I would say that you helping all walks of life here. We have children, we also have, you know, older people here. So you, you know, mentoring either younger people, older people, and it's like a whole seasonal thing where you're like constantly, it's like you're constantly giving, generous. We are helping you, yes, see, that's what I'm saying. So your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So you healing, teaching, guiding, assisting people who are, you know, either on their quest, the beginning of their quest, and you want to make sure that they get to the very end. So that's what I have for you, pile number two. Let me know what you thought. Check out Moomoth Goddess's channel for your pile. And you have a beautiful day if you came over from her, for her, from her channel. I really thank you for checking me out. So pile number three, hello. Oh wait, keep that there. That keeps me, keeps everything centered. Cause it looks crooked. I'm like at an angle. So it looks crooked for me, but not for you. Okay, pile number three, hello. If you're coming from my channel, thank you for picking on this pile for coming from Moonmouth Goddess's channel, thank you for checking this out. Oh, where's the other card? Here you go. So, part number three, we have Relief. We have Environmentalist. Ooh, and Broken Arrow. See, Crooked again, see? Okay, this helps me keep, stay aligned. All right, so, part number three, I hope you're having a wonderful 2020 so far. So, let me just take a moment to look at these cards because, you know, I have to figure out how they piece together, so... Okay, thank you, thank you. So power number three, I feel like you either you are a witch, or a green witch, or whatever type of witch you are, either you're either, either you're a witch or you're into nature, you're e into restoring the balance, you know, um, the energies, you know, like, you know, yeah, out in nature, you know, like if, I know that, you know, I know that witches, you know, if they, if they, borrow a, a tree branch they replace it with something else for the soil for the tree you know like if they take some dirt then they replenish it with like a you know compost like a banana or something you know so you are either a witch and you your abilities is that you you either protect people save people save nature and yeah, environmentalist, you have a lot, there's a lot of nature, a lot of earthy vibes here with the broken arrow. Um, I'm thinking of like someone in, in nature with their bow and arrow. It's so funny that this came out. Embrace the energy and p of peace. So maybe you, you like to help people connect with nature more or you're just so into nature where you, you know, you want to restore, help restore, help save the planet. Your, your abilities 
yeah, I would say is to keep keep the balance with with you know with nature. Like make sure the creeks are clean. Make sure they're not being um, polluted or you know like people aren't peeing into the creeks or throwing bottles in there. You want to keep things clean. You want to make sure that the trees aren't being cut down. Look, we have bows and arrows. People look, they trim trees and they get arrows from them, right? So I feel like you're you're wanting to keep the balance. Either you're a witch here, and nature means so much to you. You maybe you eat whole foods or something. You know, maybe you, you you're about cleansing your energy, um, cleansing yeah, cleansing your space. Um, you're on the right. You're the earth. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I didn't even see this. I honestly didn't see this. I saw the little girl trying to go with the pictures, and then I saw environmentalists after that, but I didn't even read the message. You are an earth angel who, has, who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals. Thank you. That's where I got it. I got environment. Yeah. That's what I got from environmentalists, but I didn't even see this. This is sideways, like I said. We want you to know you're safe and happy. Relief. So, yeah, you providing a, a good balance, uh, relief, safe, safety, and protection to... Uh, animals and earth and it just means so much to you you know to make you want to make sure that the animals are being taken care of and nobody's hunting animals or and deers and and the animal and the tree there are lots of trees growing and uh people not putting a lot of pesticides on in, in, the, in the in the on the flowers and stuff like that uh, make sure the bees aren't being harmed and they're able to you know pollinate and make sure people aren't picking flowers and destroying so yeah, I would say like mother, mother nature here, like the empress. The empress is not all about pregnancy, you know. She's about exactly what I just said here, nurturing, right? Nature too. So um, I would say that's your ability here. And I would say embrace it, just like this says. Embrace the energy of peace. You want to keep the harmony, peace, the balance. So that is your gift, and gift skills and ability and your talent too. So I would say keep on going. And if it really means so much to you, you can raise awareness and try to get other people who are like-minded, who are on the same journey as you, and really try to get more people on board, you know, save, save Earth, save the planet, or at least try to make those steps, you know, practice as progress. So that's what I feel is your message, group number three, and, you know, check out Moon, Mar Moon Mouth's channel to see what messages came out for you in her video, and let me know what you think, thought about my cards. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next video. I have more collaborations coming. They're just so much fun, and I'm sure Moonmouth and I will be doing more collaborations in the future. I'm B. Bye-bye.